Hi, everyone. I'm Donna Harmon, Director of Physical Education, Recreation, and Athletics here at WPI. I'd like to welcome you to our 2023 WPI Varsity Athletics Award Ceremony. This is the time of year where we celebrate all the great things that have happened, not only in competition, but also in the classroom, as well as in our community. It was another great year for GOAT Nation. I'm really proud of our student athletes, coaches, and administrators for all the great work they did day in and day out to represent the university so well. Um, I'm also proud to say that our athletic department was recognized as one of the best in the nation this year, and I hope everyone feels really great about that honor that we've recently received. So without further ado, let's get to the celebration. Enjoy. Thank you, Donna. I want to welcome everybody to our award celebration this year. And as we look back on all of the amazing accomplishments of our sports teams, as well as some truly, truly special individual accomplishments this year as well. I do want to start off by thanking our support staff and our administration here at WPI, from the athletic director, Donna Harmon, down to our sports information office, to the athletic training staff, the equipment room, and the rest of our support staff. Uh, without a doubt, there's no way that we could accomplish the great things that we accomplish without those amazing people behind the scenes. My name is Chris Robertson. I'm the head football coach here at WPI. I want to talk a little bit about our season and introduce our Terenzi Award winner uh, at the end. This past year was our second year coming back uh, out of COVID. A much better year than 2021 as we continue to climb and really work and trend towards becoming a new MAC champion. We were four and six this year, had a couple of uh, tight, close fourth quarter losses in New Mac play as well. But there's no doubt that we're moving in a strong direction. The culture of our football program is also on, a, on an upward trend. Really proud uh, of the work that our young men do um, each and every day during the fall, throughout the off season and into the spring. Want to make special note of our senior class. When our seniors were freshmen, back in 2019, we finished that season 10 and one with a New Mac championship and one of the greatest football teams in the history of WPI football, over 130 years of football. This year we finished four and six, and really without those seniors, we would not have been able to accomplish the things that we did accomplish. They've really set the table for this upcoming fall and for future years of engineer football. I want to make special note, we had six players who got academic all district, uh, Doug Kane, Pat Haggerty, Harrison Kiriaku, Nate Russell, Billy Terrell, and Evan Wirtz, just tremendous student athletes on the field and in the classroom. In addition to that, we had seven all new Mac performers as well. Junior Hunter Carey, Zach Newberg, Lauren DiLoretto, Pat Haggerty, Evan Wirtz, Gavin Chief, and Ryan Hannigan, who was a freshman this year with a game-winning touchdown, 90 yards to win against Norwich. Want to talk about our Terenzi Award winner. Uh, Jake Bowen is a young man who exemplifies what we want from our players in our football program. He's the type of young man that teammates look up to for his work ethic on the field and certainly his work ethic in the weight room during the off season. He's an outstanding young man, highly coachable, highly driven, and above all else, a tremendous teammate who brings great energy to the people around him on a daily basis. Jake, congratulations on this award. This is well-deserved. In advance, I want to congratulate all of our major award winners this year as well. You've done some outstanding things to represent not only your programs, but this athletic department and this university. Congratulations. And from here, I will turn it over to Coach Kalen and the amazing volleyball team here at WPI. Thank you. Roll Tech. Thanks, Coach Rob, and congrats to the football program on an excellent season. I'm Kaylin Straubel, head volleyball coach, and I first and foremost want to thank everyone who has helped us throughout this year, um, from our athletic trainers to our equipment staff to our SIDs and admin. All the work that you put in to help us stay afloat and compete at our best does not go unnoticed. This was a really great season for us. It was my first year with the program and I couldn't be happier with how things went. I'm very fortunate to work with an incredible group of women who are gritty and tough and really love competing and playing the sport of volleyball. We have 
had some really awesome matches, one of them being the Greg Poole Classic, where we played Springfield, came out with a win in five sets. It was thrilling and really just a testament to the grit that this team has had throughout the entire season. Um, we also had the opportunity to go out to Rochester, New York and play some out of region teams. We came out of the Brick City Invitational two and one and had an awesome experience on the road bonding as a group. Academically, we were very strong as well. We had 10 named to the NUMAC all academic team and three named CSC all academic as well. I also want to say congratulations to our four seniors, Natalia Wersbicki, Renee Saka, Kat Reynolds, and Maddie Sanborn. Their careers here at WPI have been tremendous and the legacy that they're going to leave behind is outstanding. We are so fortunate to have had their leadership on and off the court over the years, and they will be greatly missed. And now I'd like to announce our Ray Terenzia Award winner, Maddie Sanborn. Maddie has been a key member of this program throughout her entire time at WPI. She has a remarkable way of leading, of keeping everyone upbeat and cheerful. Her humor and her guidance do not go unnoticed. We are incredibly lucky to have Maddie as a part of our program and there isn't anyone more deserving of this award. Congrats, Maddie. And now I'd like to pass it off to our head women's soccer coach, Steph Riley Schaefer. Thanks, Coach Straubel, and congratulations to the volleyball team for a great season. I'm Coach Riley Schaefer, head women's soccer coach coach and I get to recap our awesome season this year with the WPI women's soccer team. We started off the season strong, came out with big wins against Salem State and Western Connecticut, um, competed well against some of the region's top teams in our non-conference going into conference play. We felt ready and we did what we set out to do, which was improve every game and get better and better. By the end of the season, we had a great win against Springfield, a great win on senior day against Mount Holyoke. Uh, in an awesome draw against MIT uh, when they were ranked nationally. A huge shout out to our seniors. We had great leadership this year from a tremendous senior class, a big class, nine of them. Congratulations to Annika, Grace, Josie, Ashley, CB, Caitlin, Skyler, Kelsey, and Lily. I can't thank you for the joy that you brought to practice every day. I can't thank you enough for the hard work, the determination, the competitiveness that you showed throughout the season. I know that you've left your legacy on our program. We are so grateful for your contributions to TWS, uh, and we are going to miss you big time next year. This year, we had some players stand out uh, and get recognized on the, the regional level. Congratulations to Annika and Grace for both being named to the Senior Bowl, uh, and to Annika for her all-conference all and all-region recognition. Next year, we're ready to go uh, and ready to get back on the field and com continue to do what we do, which is compete and strive to be our best. This year's Women's Soccer Terenzia Award winner is Caitlin Strzgowski. Caitlin shows up every day ready to work hard, support her teammates, and is driven in the classroom. She's somebody who her teammates look through for, to support and somebody that is a constant voice both on the sideline and on the field. Over the course of her career at WPI, she has just gotten better and better as a soccer player and has grown as a human and a teammate. Congratulations, Caitlin, and thank you for all you've done for our program. Congratulations again to the WPI women's soccer team, and I'm gonna throw it over to Coach Kelly. Thank you, Coach Steph. Hello, everyone, I'm Coach Kelly, head men's soccer coach. Congratulations to WPI Athletics and all the student athletes for a successful year. The men's soccer team also had a successful season. We finished second in the region and just missed out at an at-large bid. We did qualify for the new MAC playoffs. Off the field, we had an excellent year. In the classroom, we earned a 3.6 team GPA, and we also had some individual accolades from the field. All region was Luke Savoy and Chris Martinson. They were also all conference in addition to Aaron Vaz and Francesco Valaguza. I'd like to recognize our four grad students who stayed on. Your commitment to WPI and WPI soccer will be remembered forever. Congrats to the seniors upon graduation. I know you'll have a successful career and future, and very excited to say that three more are coming back for, for a grad campaign. I also would like to recognize Franco Bazzini. He had a season-ending injury, and uh, his his work on getting back to the field has been inspiring, and we're excited to see him next year as well. 
This year's Ray Cherenzi Award for WPI Men's Soccer goes to Mason Parham. He had an extraordinary year through his hard work and exceptional attitude. This effort and attitude paid off with a playoff goal against Wheaton in the NUMAC quarterfinals. Congratulations, Mason. And at this time, I'll make my best attempt to make a field hockey pass to Coach Kim Casenza. Thank you, Coach Kelly, and congrats to the men's soccer program on another great year. My name is Kim Casenza, and I'm the field hockey coach here at WPI. And on behalf of our entire coaching staff, I would like to express how proud we are of this team uh, for the fall 2022 season. This year, our record ended with 12 wins and eight losses. We compiled a six and two record in the new Mac, and we've really closed the gap and continued to set the bar high for the future of this program. And for that, I thank our athletes. We had the opportunity to host Wellesley in the quarterfinals this year. And in winning that game, we earned an opportunity to play MIT in the semifinals. And while we fell short, we did not fall short of buy-in, selflessness, and success that we had this season, which exceeded all of our expectations. This exceptional group of athletes trusted in the process and saw the return on their investment in our program. Several of our athletes were recognized both in conference and regionally this year. Senior Captain Nini Aquista received the All Sportsmanship Team Award this fall. We also had three individuals who received All Conference honors. Lauren Meinhold received second team, All New Mac, while both Lauren DeShong and Eliza Dutson earned a spot on the first team All New Mac. In addition, both Eliza Dutson and Lauren DeShong received NFHCA All Region First Team honors. Lastly, I'd like to thank our incredible seniors in fifth years. Nini Aquista, Sam Braun, Rachel Drasser, Nikki Espeland, and Holly Mason, along with our fifth years, Lauren DeShong, Natalie Moan, and Kelsey Wilkinson. There is no doubt that you have left this program better than how you found it. Thank you for your commitment, leadership, and the legacy that you have left behind. You will truly never know the impact that you have made within the WPI field hockey community, and I want to express my extreme gratitude to each and every one of you. Thank you for your willingness to show up every single day, to sacrifice and grind to benefit the future of this program. We look forward to your next adventure and following all your future successes. This year's Cherenzi Award winner goes to Natalie Moan. Nat is the true definition of an unsung hero. What she embodies and who she is as an athlete and as a, as a human is just exemplary on our campus and within our program. The amount of time that she has dedicated to our program, our campus, and our community is second to none. And I'm so proud of the legacy that she has left behind here at WPI. Natalie, congratulations. We're so proud of you, and we can't wait to see what you accomplish in the future. I'd like to pass it off to Coach Brian Shabbat with Cross Country. Congrats, field hockey, and Coach Casenza on a great season. Uh, I'm Brian Shabbat, Director of Track and Field and Cross Country. I'm here to talk about our cross country season this past fall, which was another solid one by the team. Each team saw themselves ranked in the top five regionally throughout the year, and even at different points ranked uh, nationally in the top 30. We are highlighted by our finishes both at the NUMAC Championship and Regional Championship. At the NUMAC Championship, we saw two members of the men's team, David Reynolds and Avi Asundil, uh, earn all NUMAC honors, while Caitlin Guilfoyle did on the women's side. At the Regional Championships, uh, we actually saw three men and two women earn all region with David Reynolds and again Avi earning that on the men's side, but Brian Brooks also um, throwing his hat in the ring with that, and Grace Hadley and Caitlin Guilfoyle again on the women's side. Uh, by virtue of David and Brian's uh, finishes at the regional championship, they earned their way uh, to their third and second national championship, respectively, um, and raced well when they got there, representing us well 
uh, on top of that. Both Brian and David have now cemented their legacies uh, in the history of our program. David, that was his third championship, and Brian his second. That's the most ever uh, between both programs. And um, overall, I'm just pleased with the performances, uh, the effort, the dedication that both teams showed throughout the season. And um, I really want to thank the seniors in particular for how they've set this program up for success moving forward. And hopefully the, the junior, sophomore, and uh, incoming class next year will uh, take it and run with it literally. This year's Terenzi Award winners are, are similar. They, they um, gave us exactly what we needed throughout the season and that was consistency. They were kind of the uh, bellwether for both teams in terms of how the others could um, determine how best to practice in workouts and in races. Uh, so I want to honor Kaylee Glado and Robbie Doyle um, with the Terenzi Award. Uh, again, both were uh, amazingly consistent throughout the season. Um, you showed up every single day, uh, gave their best, uh, whether, again, it was just an, a run on the roads or a race. And uh, I couldn't ask for more from them. And I really appreciate everything they provided to the program throughout the season. So thank you. Uh, that's it for fall sports. And back to you, Rusty. Thank you, Brian. Another excellent season for all of our fall teams. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Rusty Egan. I'm one of the Associate Athletic Directors and the Sports Information Director here for the Engineers. And I'm excited that I get to reveal the top GPAs of the 2022-23 academic year. Before we get to the top five, let me shout out a few of our biggest jumpers, not the top five. Those seeing significant increases include baseball, football, and wrestling on the men's side. And if I can speak a second for wrestling, we're very proud that they had the top overall GPA of their 10 regional finalists, and that's in the entire country. A great job, gentlemen. On the women's side, we saw great increases from women's basketball, women's rowing, softball, and volleyball. Now for that top five list, we have actually a top four list because we have two programs that have tied for fourth, one of which is women's soccer with a 3.65 GPA. Hey, congratulations. Tying with them and also owning the best GPA of a men's team is men's soccer with a 3.65 GPA. Congratulations, men's soccer. Our top three sees women's swimming and diving uh, breaking into the top five at number three. They have a 3.67 a GPA. Outstanding job, women's swimming and diving. Our next two in second place is women's track and field. Women's track and field had a 3.73 GPA. And last but not least, our best GPA with a 3.83 GPA, one of the highest in my time here at WPI, is women's cross country. Congratulations to all of our teams. And now we look forward to hearing uh, from our winter sports. And we'll start with women's basketball coach, Sharice Galasso. Hey, take it away, Sharice. Thanks, Rusty. And to kick off the winter sports, uh, I'm Coach Colasso, head coach of women's basketball here at WPI. Uh, we had a, another terrific season, uh, winning 17 games and earning a regional ranking once again. Uh, our year, year was highlighted uh, with our eighth consecutive Worcester City Championship and going down and winning the uh, Sunshine State Shootout in Daytona Beach. Um, this team was really made up of a bunch of outstanding competitors who really bought into the process and wanted to win for each other. And we were just so proud of the positive team culture that they really created. Our goal each year is to not just be the best defensive team in the conference, in the NUMAC, but in the country. And this group really locked in, had elite com communication and had each other's backs. And they were definitely special in this area. So much so that we finished the year ranked uh, number one in the NUMAC in field goal percentage defense, which was good for 19th in the country out of 400, over 400 Division III teams. Uh, number one in rebounding margin in the NUMAC and 14th in the country. And we held our opponents to 49.1 points per game for the season, which is not just number one in the NUMAC, but 11th in the country. Uh, we also had a number of major individual accomplishments this year that I really want to note. Um, our leading scorer, this year, Lisa Cristiano shattered the long-standing school record for highest field goal percentage in a single season, shooting an incredible 67.3% this year. 
Uh, the previous record of 58.3% was held by WPI Hall of Famer Therese Kiewitowski and stood for 40 years. So that's a great accomplishment. Uh, also, Alex Cariotti, our point guard, led us in assists once again this year. But she averaged an incredible uh, 5.78 assists per game overall and 6.1 in the NUMAC, which was obviously first in the conference, but also 11th in the country, which is really special. She, uh, Alex went for 14 assists in a game against Regis College, um, which is one shy of the all-time record here of 15. And she departs WPI ranked second in pretty much every statistical category related to assists only behind Hall of Famer and WPI legend Kathy Murray. And finally, our last, um, and last but not least, Melanie Pressow became the school's all-time career record holder for three-point field goals made this year, uh, finishing her career with 149 makes. She also holds the record for most field goals made, three-point field goals made in a game, hitting seven in a game at Florida this year. And her career three-point percentage of 37% is good for second all-time in school history. She also ranks third, second all-time in school history in three-pointers made in a single season with 58. So congratulations, Mel, as well. Uh, Alex Scariati and Lisa Cristiano earned NUMAC All-Conference accolades this year. And Victoria uh, Marecki was named to the All-Conference Sportsmanship Team. That's the second year in a row for Vic. Congrats, Vic. And we had a program record 10 academic all-conference honorees, with Vic and Alex becoming the first ever four-time selections. They were both also selected to uh, first-team academic all-district as well. We had four women selected as the New England Women's Basketball Senior All-Star Game, uh, and that was Lisa, Vic, Alex, and Mel. Congratulations to you guys. And finally, uh, I'm excited to be able to recognize our very special senior and grad students, uh, Emily Ranowska, Lisa Cristiano, McKenna Finken, Victoria Marecki, Melanie Pressow, and Alex Scariati. This group of players had an immediate impact on the program when they arrived at WPI. On the court, their toughness, their athleticism, their skill, and their competitiveness was unmatched. They raised the bar for us uh, in practices, in the weight room, and they never shied away from a challenge, setting a standard of excellence that has made the program better. Beyond the court, this group had an even bigger impact as leaders not only within our team, but the athletic department and across campus and in the community as well, and the legacy they leave will be felt for years to come. I want to take a moment also to thank their families for their unending support and to our program. We're going to miss you dearly all as well. So Emily, Lisa, McKenna, Vic, Mel, Alex. I hope you know how much we love you, how thankful we are to have had this time with you, and how truly special we think you are. We are so proud of you and can't wait to see what the next journey has in store for you because we know it's gonna be special. I'm very pleased to announce that our team winner of the coveted Terenzia Award, our team's unsung hero, this year goes to junior Shannon Reno. Shannon's leadership, her relentless work ethic, her commitment to our team first mindset and her relentless pursuit of team success definitely made her the perfect person for this award. So congratulations, Shan. And now I'm gonna throw it over to men's basketball head coach, Chris Bartley. Take it away, Coach B. Thank you, Sharice. You went over your time slot just like you do when we're about to practice after you. But uh, congratulations to your group. Um, my name is Chris Barley. I'm the head men's basketball coach at WPI, and uh, we had an incredible 2022-2023 uh, season, 22 and four uh, overall record, 13 and one in the New Mac, and uh, won the um, New Mac regular season championship. Um, we had so many uh, positive contributions from so many players on our team, and um, you know it was really a special season. Didn't quite end up like we wanted. Um, with the birth to the NCAA tournament, but I feel like we really reached our potential and the guys did a great job. We had uh, some highlight performances uh, for, throughout the season, uh, led by uh, senior captain John Lowther, was first team all-conference. John Adams, a junior forward for us, was uh, all-conference first team, and Aiden Callahan, second team all-conference. 
um, with those guys, we had you know great co contributions from a number of players, and I'm really proud of our group's effort, and we're really looking forward to next season. I'd like to announce our Ray Terenzia Award winner this year. Uh, it goes to a young man that uh, plays his heart and soul out for us every day, works extremely hard um, on the court, in the classroom, um, is an absolute gym rat for us, and um, a warrior on the court for us. Junior Donovan Sevilla. Congratulations, Donnie. I'd now like to pass it on, okay, to one of my dear friends in the department, Mr. Paul Bennett, our swimming and diving coach. My name is Paul Bennett. I'm the head swimming and diving coach here. And uh, this past season for the men's and women's swimming and diving program was one of growth and development. We spent a lot of time bringing in our very young team and bringing them toward the ideals of what we, the coaching staff, felt they needed to learn and be prepared for the end of the year. It was a long and somewhat arduous process at times, um, but our athletes really stepped in and they really bought in. And by the end of the year, we we're really happy with what we saw. We had a lot of improvement. We saw a lot of lifetime best swims. We saw uh, a lot of athletes who were right on school records and we were able to break a couple of school records. Uh, the women's 800 free relay at the conference championship matched the existing record from 2016. And then Kyle Stabby was able to break men's 200 butterfly record set by Matt Schreiner the previous year. He uh, was also able to qualify for the NCAA championships and moved on and was a finalist in the 100 Butterfly, and he earned his first All-American award there. The seniors were an amazing help this year. It was really great to actually have a full season and not have any marring of COVID, and really we were able to return to our full program strength. So I'm really excited to see what the future brings for our program, and I'm really looking forward to working with our incoming athletes and our returning athletes next year. WPI Swimming and Diving is proud to announce our Cherenzia Award winners. For our men's swimming and diving program, we have Ashton Lyons. And for our women's swimming and diving program, we have Sophie Christian. Both athletes embody the unsung hero program for our programs. They are the consummate teammates, great work ethic, and they have been cornerstones of our program for the last year, actually for their entire careers there. We're really honored to recognize them in this fashion and we're excited to see what they can do as they graduate WPI. Uh, next up is wrestling coach, Matt Oney. Thanks, Paul. Hi, everyone. I'm Matt Oney, head wrestling coach here at WPI. I'd like to begin by congratulating all our WPI student athletes and their many outstanding accomplishments this year, and also thank our PIRA staff and our athletic trainers for all of their, the, the work that they do to support our student athletes before, during, and after their various competitions. Your efforts are greatly appreciated. This year's wrestling team continued to demonstrate our Tech Attack mindset with their consistent improvement throughout the season, doing what it takes to raise their level of performance week after week. They all can be very proud of their individual and collective efforts, which put us in a position to have a strong final push at the end of the season. These efforts led us to having an improved showing at both the NUA dual meet tournament and the Northeast Regional Championships. With four wrestlers placing in the region and one national NCAA National Championship Tournament qualifier, Tommy Dallara. This team strives to engineer excellence on and off the mat and was once again highly successful academically with six wrestlers earning Scholar All-American. Tanner Thatcher, Tommy Dallara, Mario Barbario, Ethan Edmondson, Tyler Riggs, and Lucas Wilson-Westfeld. And perhaps the highlight of the season came when we were recognized as having the number one highest team GPA in all of Division III NCAA wrestling. Uh, congratulations, gentlemen. We say goodbye to a special senior class, a group of wrestlers who, like all senior athletes this year, had to persevere through some of the most unique and difficult challenges during any collegiate career. We are grateful for their leadership and wish them all the best as they embark on the next phase of their journey. Jared Bushnell, Chris Cook, Caden Christ, David Gibson, Adam Marsh, Joe Martin, Tyler Riggs, Julian Robles, and Lucas Wilson-Westfeld. Thank you all for everything you contributed to the WPI Wrestling family. This year's Ray Trangia Award winner for wrestling is Adam Marsh. He was instrumental in keeping WPI's wrestling on track the best he could during those crazy circumstances, and we are truly grateful for his dedication to his team and his teammates. Thanks, Adam and we know you have many outstanding things ahead. Well, that wraps up Winter Sports. Now I'll turn it back over to Rusty with Academic Awards. Thank you, Matt, and another outstanding winter by our student athletes and our coaches. Uh, congratulations to all. Now we have 
uh, the academic all district and all Americas to recognize. And that program has undergone a little bit of a change. First, it's always been done by uh, COSIDA, same group, new name, as they've rebranded as the College Sports Communicators. And this year, with a different process, um, in effect, we saw a uh, jaw-dropping 46 of you get named Academic All-District. Congratulations to all 46 of you. And as for the All-Americas, while well, some of them are still being named, and we hope to add a to that list, as we wrap up the majority of the season with three Academic All-Americas. First was John Adams, a third-team selection in men's basketball. The second is now a multi-time academic All-America, and he was first team. That was Kyle Stabe in men's swimming and diving. And from softball, Lindsay Ambrosino, who becomes a two-time first team selection, one of just nine multi-time first team All-Academic selections. Congratulations, Lindsay. And now we look forward to uh, enjoying our successes that um, occurred in the spring season. I'll turn it over to head baseball coach, uh, Brendan Casey. Go ahead, Brendan. All right. Well, thank you, Rusty. Appreciate that. Um, I'd like to speak upon our baseball season this past year. Uh, it was a little bit of an up and down year for us. Um, I don't think the uh, results necessarily speak to the way we performed. Uh, first and foremost, I'd actually like to thank our seniors. Um, it's an incredible class. Um, I don't think the results on the field speak to the impact that they had on the program. Um, they did a very good job in a tough season, in a transition, right, with a coaching change and everything like that, leading the team, leading a young team and bringing them together to compete. And I would say without a doubt, we were playing our best baseball at the end. And that's a testament, you know, to their dedication and their hard work and their commitment to the program, even when necessarily the results weren't what they wanted. We had a few players on the team experience some individual, uh, individual success. Both Jacob Hand and Jeffrey Brennan were second second team all new Mac award winners. They had a great year offensively for us, both of them, both hitting in the high 300s and really contributing to making our offense as strong as it was um, towards the end of the year. So congratulations to the two of them, both of them very deserving of the awards. Now it's my pleasure to present the Ray Terenzio award winner of this year. It was uh, senior captain Joe Salvone. Uh, Joe was instrumental to the team. Performance wise, he was one of our strongest players earlier on in the year. Joe suffered a tough season ending injury when we returned north playing against Brandeis, actually breaking his ankle. I mean, the big impact that Joe had after his injury is what makes them deserving of this award, right? Most individuals in their senior year when they lose, when they suffer a season end an injury, tend to go into themselves and have every reason to feel sorry for themselves. And Joe didn't for one minute. He kept pushing his teammates, showed up every day, worked hard, continued to work hard, found different ways to help the team, whether that was help working with the catchers one-on-one, -on -one, hitting fungos, whatever it was, he tried to find a way to help the team and his energy never wavered while being a part of it. And I think he really set the tone and the expectations of what it means to be a teammate within the WPI baseball program. And next, we'd like to pass it off to uh, Heather Ross and softball. Thank you, Coach Casey, and congratulations to all our student athletes on your great successes this year, and a big shout out to all our seniors and grad students. Best of luck to you guys in your next chapters. My name is Heather Ross, head coach, WPI softball. Team 44, 20 and 20 season, even though 20 and 20, 500 on the year, didn't feel like that. We had one of the toughest schedules in the region, uh, playing some really tough competition taken away with some key opponents, regional wins, Eastern Connecticut, Babson, MIT, and Brandeis to really kick off our year, to really show what this team was truly capable of. This season was a year of learning and embracing your role and trusting to execute the role in which the game needed you to do at any given moment. Whether you are a starter or a role player, our team learned how to compete and lead from where their feet are. We had 20 hardworking, driven individuals that truly bought into the process and learned how to be leaders from where you are. That leadership looks different on everybody else and within yourself, you can be a leader to own your voice no matter where you are. Team 44's legacy that this group leads on for the rest of the foundation sets the foundation for next year's success. With what they left, they're able to set the foundation for next year and understanding that our competitive advantage is always going to be what our bench does. We placed value in that and everyone bought in, whether they were starters or role players, understanding and embracing their role and executing what the game needed to do is what then translated to our success on the bench. Key moments that we always talk about, us as coaches and even our teammates, Gabby Serbo, 
talk, talk about a clutch pinch hitter coming in, embracing her role, game-winning walk-offs, RBIs, producing runs when the team needed her to produce the most. Ashley Amaro, freshman pinch runner, understood how to pick pitches, reading dirt ball reads, coming in in key moments, getting her to second base for trusting her stuff, stolen bases, put her in scoring position. Sophia Gano, working extremely hard in the bullpens, warming up pitchers, in between pitches, having constant communication to our pitching coaches, making sure our pitches were all set and ready to compete. Mia Francisco, Meg Urakawa, Callie Case, sitting on the bench, eyes glued to the opposing coaches with their notebooks in hand, understanding and relaying signs and picking pitches to make sure our hitters were successful and ready to compete. That is what a successful team does, and that is the true foundation of what Team 44 is leaving for the rest of our program in years to follow. On the field, we also had, of course, a lot to highlight. Lindsay Ambrosino, Destiny Lum, Sophia Tognieri getting player and pitcher of the week, nods for all new Mac. Lindsay Ambrosino, Destiny Lum, all conference first team and second team, and then Lindsay and Destiny, of course, being NFL. FCA all region first team selections as well. Huge accomplishments for all three of those to get their special recognition for their amazing contributions to our team. For the 2022-2023 year, our team killed it in the classroom, having our best year yet in the two years that I've been here. Coming out with a 3.67 overall team GPA for the entire year. With that, we had seven players named to the New Mac all conference academic team, and we had an incredible 14 out of 20 student athletes being named to the NFCA. Easton All-America Scholar Athletes team for their awesome accomplishments in the classroom. Truly just an example of what our student athletes at WPI represent, excellence both on the field and in the classroom. To Soph and Alicia, our two seniors who are graduating, I'm so proud of the work that you did and I am so excited and happy that you both had your best seasons yet for your final years. To Lindsay and Gabby, we're so excited and I'm so grateful that you had your extra bonus years with us and we are going to miss your leadership and fun-loving spirits that you brought to our team. The four of you have left your own legacies, individually and as a collective class, that we will greatly miss and you will free forever be impacted in our program moving forward. Next, I'd like to present the Ray Terenzi Award, which is the unsung hero of our team. This senior is a quiet leader, quiet worker, and quiet role model for everybody else to follow, including her peers in her class. She is somebody who is the hardest worker in the weight room, in the classroom, in the community, and on the field, and is so deserving of this award. I am very excited to announce this year's Terenzi Award is senior Alicia Salvazzo. Thank you to our administration, our support staff, and especially our athletic trainers. All the behind the scenes work that you do and your commitment to us off the field to get us ready on the field and all of your areas, we could not do it without you. So a huge thank you to you. Next, I'd like to welcome Coach Miles up here of Track and Field. Thank you, Coach Ross, and congratulations to softball for a successful season. I'm Miles Ketchum, the head coach of men's and women's track and field, and I am very proud of the season that both teams had this year. The numbers and individual performances and PRs are too many to mention, but there are a few highlights that include 102 top 10 performances in all event groups, 10 new school records. On the team finish side, the men and women both finished third in a really competitive new Mac conference this year. We had three NCAA qualifiers, two All-Americans, and eight academic all-district winners. So again, those numbers don't tell the whole story, but they represent a lot of accomplishment and success this year. We were a young team and there was a lot of growing and learning that sets us up well for next year. And I'm really excited about the potential this team has to, to keep building on tradition and, and taking the team in a successful direction. So very proud and very excited for what is to come. Congratulations to the Ray Cherenzia Award winners. On the women's side, Katie Gordon was extremely enthusiastic and hardworking and immediately made an impact on the team with her attitude. And whenever she was at practice, the mood was brighter and practice was more fun. Congratulations, Katie. On the men's side, Alex Cole had a really successful end of his season, ending with PRs in both of his, of his individual events. But more importantly than that, he went through some challenges this year that were really difficult, and he handled them with a bravery and maturity that was an example for everybody and impacted the team and everyone around him positively. Congratulations, Alex. I'd like to pass this off to Coach Larry Noble and men's rowing. Thanks, Miles, and congratulations to track. Uh, on the men's rowing team, we had a, we had a good season. 
uh, we started a little bit slow. We had to overcome some injuries and, and kind of change our style and adapt to some new oars. But it, we ended strong, uh, winning the Class of 2009 Cup versus RIT and the McGee-McCarthy Cup uh, against UMass, uh, BC, and Coast Guard. And then we made it, and then we made got an invite to the Nationals, which was awesome. Uh, and at, at IRA, at the D3 Nationals, the guys had what I thought was their best race of the year in the heat and knocked out St. Lawrence and made the finals. Um, and then the next day, we didn't row quite as well, but they gave it everything they had. And, uh, and we also got to take the 2V, which had six freshmen and a sophomore and a couple of seniors in it. So they got the experience of participating at the greatest regatta on the men's side of the sport. Now we're off to England on Monday. Um, we're taking a lot of young guys so that they get the experience of rowing in England and training a little bit longer. Um, and it's, it's exciting to see what how they've been done, how they're doing. And we're, we broke down into two fours and an eight. And we'll be also be entering the Prince Albert Challenge Cup with a four. Uh, and you know, I'm excited to see how they do. And our Terenzia Unsung Hero Award was Blake. He was a great kid. He uh, is always the first to the boathouse. He always helps get the oars down, bring them back up. Uh, he's a great teammate. The guys love him. Uh, a real shows real sportsmanship and a lot of fun to coach. And now I'll hand it over to Jason Steele. Thank you, Larry. I'm Jason Steele, the head women's rowing coach, and I'd like to start by thanking all of our student athletes for a tremendous year. It was a year filled with a lot of success built on the foundation of a lot of hard work throughout the academic year. While we fell just short of achieving our goal of a return to the NCAA rowing championships, we reached some significant milestones along the way. Our second varsity eight set a school record for a 2000 meter race in its final race of the season, while our varsity eight reached the grand finals of both the New England Rowing Championships and the National Invitational Rowing Championship. This first eight was ranked in the top six varsity eights nationwide and saw one of its best performances at the New England Rowing Championship where it placed third among division three competition. I'd like to thank all of the seniors and graduate students who played such a crucial role in making this a successful season and helping to build this team into one of the top division three rowing programs in the country. To our graduate students, Caitlin Keene, Alexa Fraglat, and Carolyn Yeager. To our seniors, Catherine Woodland, Rachel Smith, Logan Rinaldi, Isabel Nearing, Emily Howard, Madison Gass, Jillian Early, Mara Desisare, Melissa Duranian, Marin Cork, and Callie Karagnan. Thank you for everything you've done over the years to bring this program to such a high level of competition. We look forward to you visiting the Boathouse next season. Lastly, I'd like to recognize our Ray Terenzia winner from the women's rowing team. First year student Kate Lindsay has demonstrated a daily commitment to improving herself and supporting the team behind the scenes. Whether she was observing practices as a means to improve herself or filling into a boat to allow development of our upper class coxswains. Her willingness to do whatever was best for the team is greatly appreciated and highlights her potential to contribute to the future of this program. Thank you, Kate. I'd like to now introduce Donna Harmon, the Director of Athletics, for some final words. Thanks, Jason. Now we get to the part of our program where we get to our major award winners. These are the best of the best, the ones that have the greatest pride in representing our university at the highest levels. So looking forward to learning more, and I hope you also enjoy learning about them and all the great things they did this past year. I'm proud to present our John P. Coughlin Award winner this year, track and fields team manager, Dylan Basin. Dylan asked at the beginning of the year if he could help out with the team in any way. And from that point until late May, he has been an integral part of every operation in the program. He is at practice helping set up before the athletes arrive, which includes 6.30 a.m. through most of the year. He comes to the office a few times a week to help with data analysis, video review, recruiting, any other tasks that we ask of him. And he times, interacts, coaches the athletes. He has an open mind. He's learned how to do things in the right way with attention to detail and infinite patience. And we are extremely grateful for Dylan's help. He has set a new standard of what a team manager should be. 
and can't thank him enough. So congratulations, Dylan, and thank you. Hi, I'm Dylan. I'm a freshman data science major at WPI. I work as the WPI track and field team manager. I had a great time this year. I'd like to thank Coach Miles and Coach Shabbat for the help that they've given me, and I'd like to thank the coaching staff at WPI for this award. Hi, everyone. My name is Adriana Owen, assistant coach of swimming and diving here at WPI. I am pleased to announce the award winner for the Charles R. McNulty Award. This award recognizes the most outstanding male athlete of the freshman class. Congratulations to our very own Christopher Smith. Hello, everyone. It is my pleasure to be this year's Charles R. McNulty Award recipient. I'd first like to thank my coaches for nominating me for this honor. I'm also very lucky to have had the support of my fellow swimmers, staff members, and everyone else involved this season. Thank you. This past season was a great one. I am personally extremely proud of my performance at NUMAC in the 200 IM, where I placed third. It was also an amazing season for the team as a whole. Everyone swam their hardest, and we had some really impressive results. I'm looking forward to the season ahead. With all that said, I would like to congratulate my fellow student athletes receiving awards. It's not easy being a student athlete. I'd also like to thank you all once again. The WPI swim team has felt like a family to me, so I can't wait to see everyone next year. It is with great pleasure that I get to introduce this year's Coach's Award for the Most Outstanding Female Athlete in the Freshman Class. This freshman was named to the NFCA Division III Player of the Year watch list for her early contributions in early April. Her contributions and performance continued throughout the season, which led her to being named NUMAC Player of the Week twice, First Team All-Conference in the NUMAC, and First Team NFCA All-Region. All extremely huge accomplishments for a freshman. Within our team and within the NUMAC Conference, she found herself atop the leaderboard in almost all of her offensive categories. This year, I am very excited to announce this year's Coach's Award is Destiny Lum. Hi everyone, it is such an honor to be selected as the WP Athletics Female Freshman Athlete of the Year. Thank you to the entire WP Athletics Department for all your hard work, sacrifices, and dedication put in towards making WP Athletics the amazing program that it is. Um, to my parents and family, thank you for allowing me to dream big, for all the late nights and early mornings that have made my softball career possible and for your unwavering support through it all. To Coach Ross, thank you for taking a chance on me and giving me the opportunity to play college softball. You truly changed lives and I'm so blessed to be one of the many you continue to impact. And to my coaches and teammates of Team 44, you guys, there is no greater honor than to call you guys my second family. Um, you guys have welcomed me with open arms since day one. And I couldn't be more grateful to share the diamond with such a passionate, inspiring, and ambitious group of people. You guys hold a place in my heart forever. It is an honor to wear WPI across my chest, and I can't wait for the next three years. Thank you all, and roll tech, baby. Okay, I'm excited to announce the Leo S. Jansen Award for the top sophomore athlete in WPI. Um, this award goes to Aiden Callahan, our point guard. Um, Aiden really spearheaded um, our attack this year, uh, both offensively and defensively, um, was tremendous for us. Developed into one of, I think, the top point guards in the Northeast. Uh, was a second team all new net, new Mac contributor. Um, led us in a ton of statistical categories, assists, minutes played, um, and it really shot the ball well for us and, and you know, provided great leadership at the point guard position. So uh, congratulations, Aiden Callahan, our Leo S. Jansen uh, award winner. Hey, it's Aiden Callahan. I just want to say thank you so much for this award. I truly could not have done it without the help of all my teammates and coaches. Um, thank you to all the fans for showing up each and every game and bringing the energy in Harrington. Uh, we had a great season, but we fell short of a lot of our main goals and we're set on achieving those this upcoming year. And lastly, congratulations to all the other WPI Athletic Award winners, and thanks again. I would now like to present the Carolyn McCabe Award, 
presented to the most outstanding female athlete in the sophomore class. And this year's award goes to Eliza Dutson. Eliza is absolutely a bright light in our program. The energy she brings to practice, to games, in everything that Eliza does is incredible and um, she makes us a better program. We are so proud of all that they have accomplished this past season and in their career at WPI and looking forward to everything that Eliza continues to bring to our program. Congratulations, Eliza. Thank you for choosing me for the Carolyn McCabe Award. It is an honor to have received this. I wouldn't have been able to do it without the support from my coaching staff, teammates, family, friends, and fans. Thank you so much for your support throughout this past season. Through the ups and downs, I think we had our best season yet, and I am super excited to see what next season holds. Thank you again. I'd like to announce the Phil Grubinar Award, and this award is presented to the outstanding male athlete in the junior class at WPI. Uh, this award goes to our center, John Adams. Um, John had a tremendous season for us, very consistent, third team academic All-American, first team All-New Mac. He was All-Region. He's also off the court a member of SAC and um, has a 3.86 um, grade point average in mechanical engineering. Um, over the last two years of competition, John's been an anchor for us. Um, you know, we've led the conference and defense the last two years, and he's really been at the forefront of our defensive dominance. Um, it's helped lead us to a 49 and seven overall record the last two years and a 26 and two new Mac record. Um, we had the opportunity to play in the elite eight last year. And, and this year we came up a little bit short, but got our second um, new Mac regular season conference championship to go along with our conference tournament championship last year. So John's just been a, you know, a, an anchor for us, like I said, and, um, you know, on the court, off the court, and as a leader. And we look forward to a, a big couple more years out of John. Thank you. Thank you, athletic faculty, for choosing me for the Phil Griminar Award. Although we fell short of our New Mac title hopes, as well as an NCAA tournament bid, I'm still real proud of how hard the guys worked last season. Thank you to JLo, AZ, and Ben, our seniors, for all that they did for us. I also wanted to thank our fans, students, the band, our families and friends, and our coaches. Thank you, Coach Bartley, Coach Ashworth, Coach Riley, Coach K, and Coach Brown for all that you do every day, from scouting and film to working and getting up extra shots with us and just practice. I know we all can't wait for another season, and we got a great group of guys to do that. We have high goals. We're already working hard this summer, and we're all really looking forward to what's to come. See everyone in Harrington next year and go engineers. I'm proud to announce the uh, Patricia Graham Award winner, Caitlin Guilfoyle. Uh, she's the definition of uh, speaking softly but carrying a big stick. She doesn't say a whole lot, uh, but performs at an unreal level, especially when it matters the most. Uh, this past year, it started with cross country. Uh, we needed some crucial uh, points and she came through for us earning all new Mac uh, recognition and then two weeks later followed that up with all region honors as well. Um, she saw that through to both track seasons indoors. Uh, she had one of the best meets she's ever had over two days at our Division Three New England Championships scoring three all, uh, all New England honors in that meet. Again giving us some crucial points towards our team score and this past outdoor season uh, came through in the clutch as well, um, scoring us points in both the 1500 with uh, her best all-time time, as well as in the 5K, again, with her best all-time time. time. Um, so thank you and congratulations, Caitlin. Thank you so much and I'm honored to receive this award. I'd like to thank Coach Shabbat, Coach Kyle, and Coach Ketchum for the nomination and for their support and dedication in getting me to this point. I would also like to thank Jen McCarthy for her guidance and support throughout this season. I'd also like to thank my teammates for continuing to inspire and push me to become a better runner. We all help to support and push each other every day in practice and at meets, making us all better and stronger as a whole. This past season, our team has shown tremendous growth and improvement, and I'm excited for what we can accomplish next year. Thank you again to my coaches and the athletic department for everything that you do, and congratulations to all other award winners. 
It's now my pleasure to announce the Melvin G. Masuko Award, and that goes to David Reynolds. David is our greatest long distance runner we've ever had in program history. Uh, he has, he's the only runner we've ever had to compete in three national championships for cross country, something that may not be matched uh, moving forward. He has earned all New Mac uh, on two different occasions, all region on two different occasions as well during cross country season, specifically this past year, again, competing in his third uh, straight championship was incredible. He followed that up uh, this indoor and outdoor season. He's now owner of four school records, the indoor 3K, indoor 5K, outdoor 5K, and outdoor 10K. Uh, he earned four different all New England honors during the indoor and outdoor season. Uh, had made the all-region team as well for his performance in the 10K this past outdoor season. He's just been an incredible runner for us, and we're pleased to say he's coming back for a fifth year, which will be fantastic and help the team tremendously. But congratulations, David. First, I would like to thank my coaches Brian Chabot and Miles Ketchum for nominating me for this award. I would also like to thank the assistant coach Kyle Gerlach for his help throughout this year's seasons. This year, I set not just many personal records, but many program records as well. I achieved all conference and all New England honors. I was also named the academic all district team. It has been an honor to lead the team throughout my senior year. And so I'd also like to thank my teammates for their unwavering su support throughout my time at WPI. And I look forward to watching their continued progress both on and off the track. Lastly, I would like to congratulate all the other award winners for their own incredible achievements. It has been an incredible year and I look forward to continuing my athletic career here at WPI as a grad student. I am honored to introduce this year's Varsity Club Award, awarded to the female senior student athlete on her character, leadership, contribution to the WPI community. This graduate who I call to families and recruits Miss WPI because of her legacy that she leaves far beyond the softball playing field. The 4.0 undergrad and graduate degree student, which means she never got to be in her life here at WPI, the NCAA Elite 90 winner, Crimson and Key Tour Guide, and Crimson and Gray Award recipient, will always be remembered for her impact, most importantly through her leadership, her character, and her service that she has given to this community. She finished her career with her best year yet, being named NFCA All-Region First Team. I am very proud and honored to announce this year's Varsity Club Award winner is Lindsay Ambrosino. I just want to say thank you and that I'm truly honored to be receiving this award. Being a member of WPI Softball has absolutely changed my life and been one of the best things I've ever been a part of. And I'm really just grateful for everyone that impacted me along the way. So from the WPI Athletics Administration and staff, all the other coaches and our athletic trainers, really everyone that supports our team and our program and has supported me, thank you so much. And of course, to my coaches and teammates and family, I could never really thank you for all that you've given me. Um, but just know that being here at WPI and being a part of the WPI softball team is the best decision I ever made. Um, so I'm, I'm sad to be leaving, but I'm really just grateful for it all. Um, and thank you again. Okay, I'm happy to announce the Merle Norcross Award. And this award is very prestigious at WPI. That's presented to the best senior athlete. Uh, this year's recipient is John Lowther from our men's basketball team. Um, you know, how I would describe John is a person and player that has the heart of a champion. Um, you know, he's led us to, you know, incredible heights, I think, um, you know, over the last few years. You know, obviously last year we were in the Elite Eight and, you know, 27 and 3 and he was the uh, New Mac tournament uh, most valuable player. Um, and then this year he followed that back up despite battling through a ton of injuries um, to give us a 13 and one uh, New Mac uh, record, um, a New Mac regular season championship and a 22 and four overall record. So I think um, he's defined, I think by team success, um, but along with that team success, he's been able to garner some impressive individual accolades. Uh, he's been a two-time uh, first team all New Mac selection. He was New Mac Rookie of the Year as a freshman. He's been a two-time all region selection. And then, you know, he's been a, a valuable member of the ROTC program here, which he's he poured a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears into. 
and um, you know he's made us proud in that uh, regard basically in everything that he does so um, again the Merle Nor Norcross best senior athlete at WPI award uh, Jonathan C. Lowther thank you Hi, it's John Lothar. I just wanted to say that I'm beyond grateful to receive this award and extremely thankful. Uh, thank you to my coaches, my teammates. For without them, none of this would really would have been possible. And especially uh, the fans and friends and family who came to support us, uh, the pet band, and supporting us through the ups and downs this season. And uh, without them, the WPI experience wouldn't nearly be the same. Thank you. Go Goats. It's my honor to announce the Sue Chapman Award. Uh, to Sydney Packard, that probably should come as no surprise to most people. Uh, she is perhaps the most accomplished athlete, regardless of gender, the school has ever had. Uh, now a nine-time All-American, 18-time uh, All-New England, uh, five-time individual New England champion. Uh, there's really nothing she hasn't accomplished uh, athletically here and academically. Uh, four-time academic All-American on top of everything else. Uh, there's just not enough words to express the impact she's had on our program and, and really athletics here in general. Uh, she's just been an outstanding student athlete for us. Um, you know, I just, I can't say enough uh, regarding the impact she's had and the performances she's put out there. Just uh, honestly a little mind boggling and it might take me a while to get get over her loss moving forward, uh, but uh, just well-earned, well-deserved uh, to be recognized in this way, and I, I can't thank Sydney enough. I'm so pleased that she's uh, the recipient of this award. I want to thank Coach Chabot and Coach Miles, Coach Jay, and then all the other coaches at WPI for this award. It's such an honor, and I also want to congratulate all the other major award winners for WPI Athletics. These past seven years have been awesome. I couldn't have asked for like a better experience. Obviously, I've accomplished a lot more than I ever thought I could at WPI on the track, but to me, the most important thing has been the people I've met along the way. So I also want to thank my team and all the people I've met through the seven years. It's been really special. Um, coming into WPI, I remember my freshman year, I had this goal that I wrote on a piece of paper that I wanted to qualify for nationals by the end of my senior year and that ended up happening a little bit sooner so um, it's been really cool to kind of see how much I've grown not only on the track but as a person and kind of going from being someone who looked up to a lot of the girls who are seniors and now becoming one of those over the past three or four years has been really cool it's been a big um, learning experience um, once again, I'd like to thank the coaching staff, Coach Shabbat, Miles, Coach Jay, and Coach Schuyler for all their help over the past few years. I'd also like to thank the coaching staff at WPI again, also the athletic trainers for getting me through some injuries. I know when I came in as a freshman, I was already injured, so they helped me a lot over the past seven years, and hopefully I wasn't in there too often. Um, and congratulations to all the other major award winners in WPI Athletics. So at this time, I'd like to take the moment to thank our administrators and our athletic training group who day in and day out support our coaches and student athletes in making all of this work so well behind the scenes. They're some of the hardest working, most dedicated people who love Goat Nation and really take pride in the success that we have year in and year out. Again, when we've been recognized as one of the best athletic programs in the nation, um, this is part of it as well. Um, this group is very special. So I hope if you get a chance to reach out and thank them, um, again, as they're some of the best people I know in the business. Okay, now we've come to the end of our celebration. It's been a year, as you can see, some really great individual performances, team performances, and group efforts that have really made Goat Nation this past year one of the best. It's also at this time, it's very bittersweet that we say goodbye to our seniors who have meant so much to our program. Some of the finest goats that have gone through our program uh, with their four years. They've been through a lot. They've come out of it stronger and better and they've made Goat Nation and WPI Athletics even better for their presence and being involved. So here is our senior slideshow. Please enjoy 
and uh, thank them for the great efforts that they have done on our behalf. And we look forward to them being some really great alumni for us moving forward. Thank you, everyone.